Now we're almost ready to install that zipper to the jacket. At this point, you want to add a narrow strip of interfacing to the wrong sides of both center front edges. Mine is about a half inch thick and I ironed it on about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Once the interfacing is in place, you're gonna add some more adhesive tape all the way from the bottom of the jacket and just above that hem facing all the way up to the center of the collar. And you can see I've marked the center with a pin. Then you'll flip the zipper onto the jacket so that right sides are facing and the edge you just basted of the zipper is aligned with the edge of the jacket. Switch to your zipper foot if you haven't already done so, and we will stitch the zipper into place right close to the teeth using a straight stitch, as mentioned before, throughout the entire zipper installation process. Give your fabric a quick press and then we will top stitch right along here. It's very easy to create little bubbles and wrinkles when you're top stitching knit fabric right here. The easiest way to avoid that is to use your left hand to keep the fabric pulled nice and taut so that your stitch stays nice and smooth and the fabric doesn't fold or wrinkle at all. Now we're ready to attach the other side of the zipper. Before we do that, we need to know exactly where on the zipper this collar seam is. So what I've done is I've marked with a marker and then also a pin exactly where in the teeth that seam crosses. I want to know between which teeth it crosses because I want to make sure that that seam crosses the zipper on the other side as well. So I'll stick a little pin in here and then carefully unzip so that I know exactly where that pen goes. Let's flip the jacket over to the other side and just as a reminder, make sure you have that interfacing here. And here I just want to point out to you that the collar seam is pressed upward toward the collar underneath that interfacing. Make sure that zipper is right side up and we will attach it with some adhesive tape just the way we did the first side. Make sure that zipper crosses the collar seam exactly at your marking.
Before we top stitch this side, we want to make sure that that left and right collar seam line up perfectly. We're good to go and ready to top stitch the other side of that zipper. Finishing the collar can be a little tricky to get the stitches to look nice on the inside. There are a bunch of different strategies. Use whatever technique works for you. I am using some of this wash away adhesive tape. I have placed it right there on the seam and also on the sides of the zipper. Fold the edges, the short edges of your collar in 3 eighths of an inch and then fold the collar down. You can use the adhesive tape to hold those edges down and also some pins to mark them. We will be stitching from the right side of the jacket and we'll be stitching right here, right on top of this top stitch line that we did earlier. So you can stick some pins through that top stitch line and check on the inside of the jacket to make sure that when you stitch there, you'll catch the collar on the inside. Now we'll fold and pin the other side of the collar in just the same way. the bottom of the collar where you ironed it previously and attach it to the inside seam where we have the adhesive tape. Start by lining up the center of the back yoke with the center of the collar and you just want to cover up that seam and then press it and pin it the rest of the way. Use top stitch length for your straight stitch and we're going to begin at the very top edge and we're going to follow that top stitch that we made previously close to the zipper. We're going to stitch down to the bottom of the collar and then we're going to turn and we'll be stitching on the collar just about an eighth of an inch above the bottom edge of the collar. When we get to the top stitch line on the other zipper, we'll turn and stitch up to the very top. We'll now finish the bottom hem. If you haven't already, press that hem facing away from the jacket. We're going to start by finishing the short ends of the facing. And to do that, we will fold the zipper in toward the jacket. This raw edge is going to be sticking out away from the jacket. So you'll fold it just so that it lays just like that. And then you'll want to straighten out that edge of the facing as much as possible. And we're gonna fold it up and over the zipper guard. Make 
Make sure you know where that raw edge is. Make sure it comes all the way to the edge of the zipper guard so that you can see it. Now when stitching this facing, you wanna be aware of the front of the jacket. So this fabric down here, that is all the front of the jacket. And we don't want these stitches to be on this fabric right here. We want to stitch the facing to the zipper guard and that's gonna be up here above where that front fabric is folded. So I'm gonna start stitching and just be very careful that I don't stitch on the front of the jacket. It's a little bit hard to see my stitches. They're kind of hidden, but they are on the right side of that interfacing. And so they're only on the zipper guard, not over here on the front of my garment. And here is the stitch on the other side. So I'll turn it right side out and show you what it should look like. Now we have the finished edge of that facing and you can see the top stitches that I made previously are still visible and nothing has changed. I'll show you if I had stitched over on the wrong side, it would have been pulling over like this and those top stitches would have been hidden. So once you're satisfied with your stitch, you can trim off the little bit of that corner. Just be sure that you don't clip into any of your stitches, but just to remove some of that bulk. And you can turn your facing to the right side and now you have a nice finished inside of the facing. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Fold the facing up toward the wrong side and give it a press all the way across. After you've pressed the facing toward the wrong side and pinned it in place, you'll top stitch it all the way across the bottom of the jacket. You'll notice I have some basting stitches holding it in place. You can just as easily use pins or the wash away adhesive tape to hold that facing in place on the wrong side. So once you have it folded up, Use your top stitch length on your sewing machine and stitch from one edge all the way until the side seam where the back pleated panel begins. So I'm gonna stitch all the way until I get to that pleated panel seam. Then I will back stitch in order to lock my stitch and clip the threads. Now that the first section is stitched, we'll lift up those pleats because we only want to be stitching the under panel right now. We don't want to be stitching the pleats at all. So stitch the under panel from one end to the other and use a back stitch to lock your stitches at the beginning and the end. And then we'll move on to the final section on the outside of the pleats and stitch all the way to the other line of top stitching next to your final zipper.
I bet you were wondering when we would add those sleeves. Begin by making a memory hem. Draw a line two inches from the edge of the sleeve and fold the raw edge up to the line and press it. Now we have a memory hem and it'll be much easier to hem it at the very end since we have that pressed fold in place. Fold the sleeves, aligning the long edges and right sides together. We will pin and stitch those up using a stretch stitch or serger. And here's how they'll look when they're stitched up. Turn them right side out. Bring the jacket over and lay it on the table with wrong sides out. Find the sleeve that matches the arm opening that you're working with. You want to find the single notch and the bottom of the arm side and just place them next to each other to see that they're aligned. So there I have on top my single notch and the bottom of the arm side. Place that inside the jacket, begin pinning all the way around. And just as before, pinch and pin right at the 3 8 inch seam allowance and it'll make lining up that sleeve much easier. Stitch these in place using a stretch stitch or serger in a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And finally, we'll turn those sleeve hems toward the wrong side and hem them up to finish this beautiful jacket. This is so exciting. And that is it. Congratulations on finishing your beautiful Sundance jacket. We can't wait to see your versions, so be sure to share them on social media using the hashtag GreenStyleSundance or hashtag GSSundance. Happy sewing from all of us at GreenStyle. <laughs>